Erev Tov Chabrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, and certainly interesting things are happening uh, this evening as we turn our attention to a meeting with President Donald Trump and that of Henry Kissinger, the architect of the New World Order, as some have called him. And in this particular article here on Axios, Trump talks North Korea with Henry Kissinger. Notice what Henry Kissinger says to President Donald Trump here. President Trump invited the former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger to the White House for an advice on tensions with North Korea and China, not just North Korea, but China as well. Uh, Henry, I inherited a mess, but I'm fixing it, Trump said. It's always a great honor to be in this office, Kissinger said, uh, at this moment. The opportunity to build a constructive, peaceful world order is very great. You know, it kind of reminds me of what we were talking about yesterday in our broadcast when I brought up that little horn that rises up over there in uh, Daniel chapter 8. Now, by the way, that does not mean that uh, Donald Trump is the king of the north. Rome is still your king of the north. That woman that it speaks of that they never bother to put in there happens to have everything to do with the what harlot of Revelation. Oh my gosh, or the great whore of Revelation, I should say. And of course, remember, she has no power of her own. That's the military powers. That's why I always say it's the one that is running NATO, and it is the Vatican that runs it. And one of their special envoys, no doubt, is Henry Kissinger with the New World Order. Bringing about a peaceful world order is very great. Well, peace with war, right? That's how you do it? Something is wrong with this picture, definitely, no doubt about it. North Korea reportedly hacks U.S.-South Korean plan for assassination of Kim Jong-un. That's what's coming out of uh, North Korea right now, that they have actually hacked it. Got into it to see what the U.S. is planning on doing, and of course that does include his assassination, Kim Jong-un. Uh, RT is also reporting that Iran has all options are on the table at the U.S. blacklist of the Revolutionary Guards. And... Uh, that kind of sounds like a familiar theme that we have in the United States. All options are on the table. I guess Iran is now starting to use that terminology to express that, uh, in other words, we will attack you if you don't do what we say. And I'm sure that would include Israel in their uh, line of sight as well. Something that wouldn't go over very well. Anyway, they said, whatever they do, we will take a, a reciprocal measures. All options are on the table. Ali Akbar Valiati, senior advisor to the Iranian Supreme Leader Ali Khomeini, said on Tuesday, Reuters reports citing uh, It's Not News Agency. So that's what's coming out of there. And of course, the Middle East Eye, they happen to be bringing out a very interesting point of view going on over in Syria. Russia accuses U.S. of pre pretending to fight ISIS in Syria and Iraq. Russia claims U.S. coalition has reduced airstrikes in Iraq to uh, allow militants to take up positions against Syria's army in Deir ez -Zord. And uh, they go on to say that, uh, that in the latest sign, sign of rising tensions between uh, Moscow and Washington, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement that the U.S.-led coalition had sharply reduced its airstrikes in Iraq in September when Syrian forces backed by Russian air power had started to retake Deir Ezzard province. Everyone sees that the U.S.-led coalition is pretending to fight the Islamic State above all in Iraq, but continue to allegedly fight Islamic State in Syria actively for some reason, said Igor Kanashkinov, a major general of the spokesman for the Russian Defense Ministry. Well, Russia believes exactly that, that the United States is harboring the ISIS militants or helping them to move about. And there's been quite a bit of evidence that seems to support that. Uh, and of course, the Pentagon sharply denies it, but well, facts on the ground just seem, keep seeming to point towards that uh, the deep state is in collusion with ISIS. After all, John Kerry, former Secretary of State under President Barack Obama, said that they were sitting back waiting for ISIS to topple Bashar al-Assad. So maybe there is some truth to that after all. And by the way, uh, as we log out of here this evening for the news there, we will probably be loading a teaching on here, something that I ran across earlier today. Incredible insight. We were going to just put it on Danoon Institute uh, of Biblical Research, our YouTube channel there. You definitely want to see it there. It will be loaded there first. So if you haven't subscribed, jump over there. I'll put it right here at the very top of the comments below. So look down in those comments right there and uh, pull up Danoon Institute. Uh, the YouTube channel there because I am very soon going to stop airing them here. But on this particular issue, 
I think it's important for my Jewish brothers and sisters that are watching to tune in. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, Erev Torah.